I just want you to have a clean bill of health before we send you back to Wall Street. I'm truly sorry. My apologies. No, no need for any. I guess I have been behaving like a spoiled child. I want you to know that I love you very much too, Monica. I really look upon you as uh, a daughter now, you know. Not just the lady that Alan married. Well, Edward, thank you for saying that. You are a refreshing addition to the Quatermain family and the best thing that ever happened to Alan. <laughs> Leaving? Where are you off to, so suddenly? I have an appointment. <coughs> <coughs> Well, I guess I better go down to her suite and talk to her, otherwise she'll pout all night long and be impossible to live with in the morning. Excuse me. Yeah. Thank See you. See you later, Dad. Yes, you bet. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Look, what happened? Jealousy. Tracy? That's right. She couldn't handle Dad's show of affection toward you. Oh, come on. I can't believe that. My darling, I've seen it happen all my life, even with my mother. What? Her own mother? I've also seen it happen in reverse, with my father jealous of the men that Tracy was fascinated with. To say the least, it's a very complex and volatile relationship. Oh, well, uh, I, I'm sorry. I, uh, I can't grasp for that. Don't try. Okay, I won't. I'm just thankful that we have a simple, straightforward relationship. Yes, so am I. Hello? Oh, hi, Rick. Yeah, she's here. Hang on. It's Rick and he wants to talk to you. Oh, hi, Rick. Oh, of course you weren't interrupting. I mean, you know I always have time to talk to you. What's up? 